is everybody doing today? Let's see. Hi, sorry for being a little late today. I'm tired, Bean. I apologize, but we are here. Whoa. If my ring can leave my hair alone. We are here, and I'm excited. We have Befe Breeze. Hello, hello. Layla, good morning, friend. <gasps> Rice Bear Grayson, how you doing today? We also have Steph. Oh, you guys can't hear my desktop audio, can you? Give me a second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, Steph, hello friend, how are you doing? This is my first stream, I really happy to be a part of the community. Good morning, friend, hello. Hello, unicorn lover, hello, Teddy, how are you doing? It's not that late now, you're right. If that, it's afternoon here, lovely. Welcome, welcome, friends. How are you all? Um, hello, Justine, good morning, good morning. Oh, bad cramps. I'm so sorry, Hannah. Heating pad, definitely N winner. Allie, good morning, friend. I'm glad that you could say hello before your class. I hope that you're having a lovely morning. Justine, I hope you're having a good time at work today. You're crocheting a basket. Hello, music and animals. How's it going, friend? Um, you're crocheting a basket for the first time. What kind of basket are you making? I'm in a college Zoom meeting, but I'm watching you instead as my college call is boring. Thank you, friend. You are so sweet. Hopefully you don't miss too much in your class. You don't have one. Do you have something that you can microwave, Hannah? Can you fill a sock with a bunch of rice and microwave it for like 30 seconds? Because then that gets really hot. Oh my gosh, Justine. Thank you, friend. So happy to be part of this community heart. Two months! That's so crazy! Thank you, Justine. I appreciate you for believing in me, friend. Thank you, thank you. College be boring in Zoom. College do be boring in Zoom. Hello! Did I say hi to you, Amy? I'm sorry if I missed your hello. Good morning, Amy. How are you doing today? How are you doing, friend? We are having a lovely day today. Just a simple round basket. It's my second ever project, so nothing special. Ooh, oh my gosh, Amy! <laughs> you guys! Yes. Okay, so I have to show you this since you guys both subbed. I have this book that I got. I had my therapy call this morning. I guess it was okay, Allie. I, it's only a hair cutting demonstration. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Um, it's saying to reload the extension. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I will do that right now. Actually, give me a second. Sound alerts. Refresh. Okay. Give me just a second. Extensions. My extensions. Sound alerts. Are you configed? Oh, there's a, a new configuration dashboard. Of course there is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Let me just do this real quick. Did that fix it? Try it and let me know if that fixed it. I refreshed it and re-added the link. Um, oh, my heater. So hot. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm hot. I'm cold. It is what it is. Okay, you guys. So I got this book, and it has a ton of Pokemon cards in it. Um, they're all energy cards. And so I'm totally copying Pixel Kitten, by the way, if you guys know Pixel Kitten. Um, so I have all these energy cards, a ton of them. I filled out the whole book. There's cards on cards on cards, Hello. except for in the end. Hello there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. Hello there. I love Obi-Wan, if you guys don't know. So, anyways, okay. So, I would like Justine. Pixel Kitten is wonderful. She really is. I would like Justine and and um, Amy, if you guys want to pick a color on this page to that I will put your name on. And you can either pick one like on this side that has the little tails or on this side there are no little tails. Do you see the difference? Can you see that? So let me know what color you would like and I'll write your name on here. We have red, green, blue, purple, navy, pink, brown, silver, gold. So let me know. I'll put your lovely little name on there in your first date of sub, and it's so cute. Steph, I already got yours in here. A few people I put on, actually, Justine, I'm a silly, silly, silly bean. I already got yours in here, too. Baker Sim! And then, let's see, wait, wait, Steph's is on the front page as well. Right in the middle. There you go, Steph. 
a solid. Ba bam! Isn't that so exciting? I'm so sorry, Justine. I put you on my front page because you're a special person. Oh, thank you. They uh, mob tech. A thousand bits. Mo friend. Thank you. You are too, too, too sweet. Thank you, friend. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. I was distracted. Let me get back on chat. Makes paper cranes. Oh my gosh. Paper cranes. If I could do paper cranes. Um, Justine, I will replace yours with the red one, though, if you like red better. I will, I will, I will put it a red one. Oh my gosh. Okay, but Amy. Amy, pink, please. Okay, Amy wants pink. Wait, is there orange? There is orange. It's, I mean... You can kind of consider the fighting one to be orange. It's like a little bit brown, maybe. But um, also, the fire one with this filter looks a little bit orange. Um, so, okay. Amy wants pink. I'm putting Amy on the second page. Thank you, Amy. Amy plays Sims, right? Yes. Amy plays Sims. And I have to look up later your first day of sub. Wait, you said two months. So two months from today would be December 10. I'll put that. Ba bam And now, Amy, you're in my book forever. Amy plays Sims. Thank you, Amy. My goal? Okay, there's 360 Pokemon cards in here. Ooh, you like the orange. I do like the orange. The fire one is really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Um... My, there's 360 cards in here. My goal is to fill them by the end of the year. Yeah, these are all energy cards. They're all energy cards. Because my fiance and my roommate have so, so many energy cards. Some of them are hollow, like my fiance's. He gave me a hollow one to put his on because uh, it's his card. And he was like, yeah. So these are energy cards from, these are from Champion's Path. The the one with the I can't do this here. The one with the it should be white, the starburst. The one with the tails here. Can you see that? You can't see that. The one with the tails, you see how they have this little tail? They're from Vivage Voltage. I don't know what these oops, I don't know what these ones are from. They don't have a tail. Um they're just more like a little thing. And then I also have these. These ones have like a border around them, do you see? Um these ones are Champion's Path, I believe. Um, and then I don't know what pack these ones are from, and I don't have a full page. They're like, oh, they're like so old school. Um, they're really old school. But yeah, they're all different now, the energy cards, depending on what pack you have. So that's just what packs they've been getting. And I've just been stealing their energy cards, because they have a ton of energy cards. <gasps> One, I first saw you playing Sims on TikTok. Oh my gosh. It took me... It took me wanting to play Sims, and I got me building houses. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing, friend. Do you care if I call you Breeze, or do you want to be called something else? Um, that is phenomenal. I'm so proud of you. That is so, so, so good. That's so exciting. Um, so, so, so exciting. Um, no idle chit-chat. Just bam, biddies. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mop Tech. You are you are so nice. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um Hope everyone is safe well and staying positive. You're all amazing. Thank you, unicorn. You sweet bean. I appreciate you so much. Hello, my uh, TikTok friends, by the way. I'm also live on TikTok. Um, we're just chatting on on Twitch if you want to come join us. Back in a bit on my two-hour call. You can do this, Steph. You can do this. You've got this. Can we take a second to talk about the Underwater Sims build TikTok? I sent you how cool is that? Um, Allie, that was, can I pull it up on here? Can you look at TikToks on, you sent that to me on Instagram, right? Can I show you guys? Well, actually, wait, who, oh, let me look up who it was and maybe I can find the Instagram. Allie. If only I could find my DMs. Let me see, okay, if I message. Allie. Perfect. Okay. Tack Baz. I knew. Okay. Tack Baz. Um, um, yeah, you guys got to look at this. Let me see if I can just find her on Instagram. Tack Baz. Tack Baz. Tack 
Bez. No, it doesn't look like they're on Instagram. Well, I'll have to put this in the Discord, you guys, because this is like the coolest house I've ever seen um, that Ali sent me. It's like an underwater house that Tacabaz built, and it was literally so stinking cool. Breeze is good. That's what my friends call me on Twitch, too. That lemon got to me. It must have been on the side of the glass. Okay, Breeze it is. Breeze it is. Thank you, friend. I hope that you are having a lovely day today. Um, we are, we are technically doing a mental health Monday today, even though it's not Monday. So if anybody has anything that would like to talk about, that is totally fine. Please feel free to do so. I do always like to let you know that we don't have to talk about mental health on these days. If we don't want to, um, we can just do whatever we want, chat about whatever we want. But if we do feel like doing mental health, then we certainly feel free to talk about it. Also, how are we feeling with the, with the Harris Heller EDM today? Are we missing the lo-fi? Do we like the lo-fi better? The lo-fi is very nice, although now you can't hear that at all. That's better. That's better. Thank you so much, Allie. I appreciate you. Enjoy your class. I'm going to play Sims right now. It's been too long. Ooh. I just realized, is your name Landon? Love is a Landon. Is that... Correct. Have I been reading your name wrong this whole time, my friend? I'm so sorry. I hope that that is not... I apologize for that. Anyways, let me know what you would like to be called because I know you've been here a while and I feel like I haven't ever said your name correctly and I'm sorry. We got to spin the glass and drink it from over here so I don't get lemon-faced. Lockdown ends next month. I'm so sorry, friend. I don't I wish I could I could sympathize with you more but our crazy state and country hasn't been in lockdown for so long but I am um, just know the end is it's coming it's gonna be here before you know it I always think about this it really helps me so when and you have to do this a few times sorry I've got eye goop you have to do this a few times before it will work but if you're ever really excited for something and you have to wait Tell yourself like when you're waiting like it's gonna feel like this and then oh Lovisa Okay, that's so beautiful. I Love it. I love it. Um, I'm so sorry Katie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did it I had to I had to force myself this morning. I did not want to wake up and I was like I can't leave the people Gotta give them what they need Lovisa is beautiful it's your third lockdown. I'm so sorry. But what I was going to say is if you tell yourself right now, like I'm going to be living with my boyfriend before I know it. And then when you live with, when the second you move in, you're like, wow, that was so fast. So I do this now. Anytime I have a long trip and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm like, this trip is going to be over before we know it. Before we know it, I'm going to be sitting in my house, like home, like, or we're going to be there at our destination. And then when I get to the destination, I'm like, wow, did you see how fast that was? Like in your little brain, you're like, whoa. For instance, my fiance and I were in New York and we were just done with our trip. We were like, we're ready to go home. Like, get us home. We're laying in bed the night before we had to leave. And I told him, I said, before we know it, we're going to be laying in our own bed. Just you wait. It's going to feel like this. This, even though in, in your head you're like I got this whole trip I got to do all this stuff then when we got home and we were laying in our bed I was like didn't that feel like it was really fast and he was like yeah why and I'm like I don't know it's just this weird little trick I do where if you talk about how fast something is going to be then once it's over you're like wow that was fast your brain is like mm -hmm, yeah it was it was fast it wasn't fun <laughs> Um, hello, Rep Score. How are you doing today, friend? Welcome, welcome. We are doing a just chatting stream today. You are more than welcome to talk about mental health or anything you'd like. Please just be respectful and kind. Um, me and my bot was talking about it today on the phone after how much we're looking forward to it. Oh, <laughs> but I'm like, what's a bot was? But your boyfriend, that makes sense. Um, well, that's so exciting. I know it's gonna, it's, uh, waiting for stuff is the worst. So I feel you. I'm sorry. I hate waiting for stuff. I hate being patient, but you can do it and then you're gonna be okay and everything is gonna be fine it just sucks so I'm sorry um, there's nothing you can do about that part unfortunately I am doing really good today I it's currently nine o'clock in the morning for me I have work in about an hour um, my fiance and my roommate went Pokemon card hunting <laughs> <laughs> so they're out and about doing that if you know it's kind of a running joke on the stream that pretty much any time I'm streaming 
My fiance and my roommate are out Pokemon card hunting. I don't know why it always coincides exactly with when I stream, but that's what they're doing. Mm. My lemon is so sour. Oh my gosh, five o'clock there. How nice. I almost said 17. And then I was like, my brain knows what 17 is. It's five. Um, yeah, well, that's fun. What did you do today, Rep? You love lemons, me too. So my neighbor, my neighbor has, I live in the suburbs, right? In the suburbs, if you don't know, is like in, in America, I know a lot of you guys are not here. Like everybody has like their own little lot, like a whole lot right for your house. And they're all squished right next to each other. So I can like peek over my neighbor's back fence and be like, hi neighbor. And the fences are like five and a half feet tall. They're not very tall. So you get really close with your neighbors. <gasps> Meg Graham, Meg, Meg Cam. I'm sorry about that. Hello, Meg. How are you doing today? Welcome to the Fluffy Friends. I hope you're having such a beautiful day. You like just eating them, Hannah. That's my fiance does that. So anyways, I'm in the suburbs. You get to know your neighbors really well because everybody's just like a little peep fence away. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I'm a social person, so I'm like, if I hear my neighbor in the backyard, I'm going to pop my little face over and be like, hello, nice to meet you. So anyways, I know all of my neighbors. And yesterday, I was looking, or this weekend, I was looking at my neighbor's lemon tree, and I was like, holy moly, there's a lot of lemons on that tree. And I heard her out there, so I popped over the fence. She's, it's this old couple. I popped over the fence, and I was like, hey, Rosanna, I'll take any of those lemons off your tree if you don't want them. I see you have a lot of lemons. And she was like, oh my gosh, thank you. Yes, please. We want to... I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. She was like, I want to give you lemons. And I was like, great. Yes. Cause I use lemons. If you guys know, I use lemons in my water every single day. I have a lemon in here. It's, I have a lemon every single day. It's what I do. Hello, Meg. Happy Wednesday. Excited to be here. I'm happy that you're here. We're talking about lemons right now. Um, actually it, everybody in the chat, what's your favorite fruit? And, and second question, do you like sour things? Do you like to eat sour things? She said, please, sure, take my whole harvest. She essentially did. So not only did she give us lemons, she gave us tangerines, she gave us grapefruits, she gave us broccoli, she gave us lettuce. She gave me the cutest little malformed bell pepper that's like all messed up, but it's so cute. And I'm like, Rosanna, look at all the cute, look at all the cute garden things you gave me. Sour things are your favorite. Sorry, I got to get caught back up on chat. My aunt, his anniversary present arrived and you're making him a cake and the icing. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. Sorry if I literally just obliterated your ears. Today, I was just updating my music playlist and added some new songs. What kind of music, friend? That's really exciting. Hannah loves sour things. That's good to know. Sour makes rep score cringe every time they taste it. And Meg is excited to be here. We're excited you're here too, Meg. Your neighbor has a lemon tree. That's so cool. So pretty much in Arizona, everybody has citrus. It's like weird that our, we don't have citrus at our house. Like I could look outside right now and see like 15 lemon trees and orange trees. And it's very common here. Um, it's very sad. Wait, avocado is your favorite fruit? Is avocado a fruit? You're joking. Favorite food gotta be banana and hell no, nah, I don't like sour. Good to know if I send any candy or anything to rep score, do not send anything sour. Hannah, on the other hand, always get sour candy if I send her candy. Yes, please, pronoun check would be great. Thank you so much, Hannah. I need to get the pronoun bot. <gasps> Hannah. Hannah. Avocados are disgusting. Maybe you guys have like poopy avocados over there because you're not near anything tropical. You're near tropical stuff. Oh, thank you, Rep. Thank you, thank you. Um, 2000s to 2010, can you give me a song? Because that's like when I grew up. And I love a lot of... Um, I, I love a lot of music from that era. You do like guacamole or however you spell it. You did spell that, I think. It's with a G, but other than that, you spelled it exactly right. <laughs> Wait, is that a G? I think you put a Q. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, yes, you got it right. You got it right. Um, I do love guacamole, but here's the thing. I'm very particular about my guacamole. Has to be made fresh. I can't do none of that spreadable, spreadable avocado stuff. It has to be chunky chunk. And here's the only ingredients I like in my guacamole. And you have to have all of them or else it doesn't work. Avocado, tomato, red onion, cilantro, lime, jalapeno, garlic, 
salt and pepper. There you go. Ba bam. Perfect guac. That's okay, Hannah. I got what you meant. Otto's barking. America's so weird to me. There's like every single kind of environment. There is. There is. Even in my state alone, where I am, is extremely hot desert. Wait, someone asked. Oh, where am I from? I'm from Arizona. Um, so where I live is extremely hot desert. And you could drive an hour and a half north and be in the snow. And you can drive like two hours south and you're at the beach in Mexico. Um, it's crazy, the different climates. It's pretty crazy. It's just so big. Uh, America is huge. Watermelon, grapes, and kiwi. Have you ever had a golden kiwi? Because uh, they sell those sometimes at Trader Joe's. A golden kiwi, and I absolutely love them. Um, they're so good. What games are you playing? I'm not playing any games right now, friend. We're doing it just chatting. Um, anyone else with eats? I was literally just going to ask you this. Does anybody else eat kiwis with the skin on like an apple? Oh my gosh. I went to school at the U of A. You went to school at the U of A? What? Bear down, Meg. That's crazy. When I was in school from, I was at college at U of A from 20, I'm old. So from 2012 to 2016 was when I was in school. I heard it's full of scorpions, so that's funny that that's our stereotype because I've lived here my entire life, right? Like 29 years of life, 28 years of life, and I can count on two hands the amount of scorpions I've seen, and all of them, except for one house that we lived in, all of them was always when I was in the middle of nowhere. They're only really in your houses if you have like a house that's on like open desert property, which is not a lot of people. Or sometimes you do just get screwed and you buy a house that has a scorpion infestation, but that's a pretty rare thing. But you can get rid of them. It just sucks. You have to do a lot of pest control stuff. Um, I was only six years old when you started uni. That's so cute, Hannah. You were so tiny. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, Meg. You were, you were just right above me. You graduated 2011. That is hysterical. Do you miss Tucson? I love Tucson. I want to move back there one day. It's my favorite place. My sister still lives there. We call it university or college, Hannah. Either is fine. Um, I want to move back there so bad. It's my dream. My fiance and I, every time I go back to Tucson, I just feel like I'm at home. I don't know how to explain that. It's just like the atmosphere and the environment and everything good makes me feel like when I'm here, I'm at home and I love it. And there's weird people like stopping in front of my house. So I always have to make sure that they're, it's always so distracting for me when I can, when I can, when I can look out the window. Gonna take Peach. What was I just talking about, Jess? <laughs> I'm not going to take him. He's yours. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're from Central Europe, Czech Republic. That's amazing. I've always wanted to go to the Czech Republic. I think the closest place I've been to in Central Europe, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is like Slovenia, Croatia. Is that, is that central? I've also been to Austria, Switzerland, Slovenia, Croatia, Germany, Spain, Italy, France. Am I forgetting a place? I think that was it. I think that was it. You miss it so much. Oh my gosh. Do you live in New York now, Meg? Um, moving. Okay, okay. I feel so special with the VIP badge. You deserve it, Hannah. You are a special friend. Um, moving. Okay. Oh, oh. And we're going to take Peach to Tucson with us. Yes, but Jess, you're coming too. You're coming too. Tucson is an amazing place, Jess, and you would probably love it so much, honestly. Like you, if you went to Tucson, I feel like that'd be your, you'd be like, I'm home. You'd be like, these are my people. Thank you for the alert, Katie. I love you. I think we're the only country that's Central Europe. The rest is East or West. Okay, good to know. I don't know that much about geography, so I'm sorry in advance. Um, New York. Uh, I love New York. Sorry, I'm so congested right now. I just woke up all my life. Hello, Kaede. How are you doing today, friend? It's still snowy in New York. Yes, um, we have one of my mods, Justine. She also lives in New York. And then one of my other friends, Katie, is up on the east side, too. Um, and it's the weather. I'm so sorry for you guys. The weather seems so terrible. I got to text my mom. 
She, I have, I've been using my mom's ring light for ages, and I finally got a new one. So she was like, she was like, can you bring me my ring light, please? Rep, thank you so much, friend, for the follow. Welcome to the fluffy friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I just say real quick that when somebody comes in my chat and like talks for a little bit and then they follow me it makes me feel so happy because i feel like i i i beat the test i passed the test it's like you talk to me you hung out with me with me for a little bit and then you followed i'm like ha i did it i beat the test so thank you rev i appreciate you I think everywhere used to be a paradise, but it's not anymore. Oh, thank you so much, Sadie, for the lurk. Enjoy your class. I hope that it goes well. I think that a lot of places have gone from paradise to not so paradise because of COVID. Um, I heard New York. Hello, fellow New Yorker. Hello, that's so cute. That's so funny. Me and Meg went to the same college, Justine, which is really funny considering that they live all the way out in New York. That's so crazy. So, so, so crazy. Um, I th thank you, Rep. I appreciate you. I do think I'm a cool and kind person, so I like to have hangouts, and we usually have a good time here, so I appreciate you for seeing my authenticity and genuineness. Um, Justine, also, I hope you know that I go to New York, like, all the time. Well, I shouldn't say that. That is so relative. I go to New York, like, once every two years. That's better. Um... So at some point we will have to get together and we will have to meet up and we will, all of us. Oh no, Jess, I hate that. Is he just being like weird, do you think? Oh, your class is finished now. Welcome back, friend. Do you think he's just being weird, Jess? Like, you know how some people like, like someone and something went well and then they're like, nope, I'm scared. Is it like maybe that situation? Not that you want to date those people at all, because that's not the kind of people that you want to date, because they're not ready to date. But I highly, highly, highly assume it's got nothing to do with your beautiful soul, beautiful face, beautiful personality, Jess. It has everything to do with whatever's going on inside him. Probably telling himself stuff like, I'm not good enough for her. She was so funny. She was so cool. She's going to think I'm lame. You're probably really insecure human. That's my guess. Jess, have you reached out and he hasn't reached out? You always talk to people before you follow. I do the same thing, Rep, because I don't want to follow you if I don't like you. Like, here's my thing about Twitch. I only like to follow people that I watch because on the left-hand side of my screen is all the people that is online. I don't want to have to look through like 200 people to find my friends. So I only follow the people that I watch and I totally understand. If I go into somebody's chat, I'm going to like hang out there for a while, talk to them, figure out like... Do I like you as a person? Do I like your vibes? Are you nice? Um, and then I'll follow if I feel like I fit in. And I'm the same way, Rep. I'm very much like if you don't give me attention, um, like in the stream, then I'm I'm out. I'm like if you don't, I need you to talk to me. I need you to acknowledge my comments, like or else I'm like I don't want to be here. Thank you. I appreciate you so much, friend. What's everyone's goal for 2021? I have a few different goals. Oh no, you helped rescue your next door neighbor's dog yesterday after it escaped again. Do they need a new fence or something, Hannah? Um, Cause yeah, people welcome you and then they're like, "I'm you don't exist anymore. And you just fade into the background and you're like, oh, thanks, cool. The funny thing about being a streamer is that I'm also a viewer. Like, I watch a lot of streams. I watch a ton of streams. So I get the same things that happens to you guys. It happens to me, too. I get kicked out of streams sometimes. I piss people off on accident. Some people are mean, and I'm, like, never coming back here. Uh, so, yeah. We might become buddies in the future. So I'm organizing a giant Twitch friend meetup. I'm going to travel the world for six months and just hop along to every little country and meet up with everybody. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Most dogs don't escape that often. Usually it is something to do with the fence or like they're in heat or maybe they're injured or something like that. My goals are to be more organized, manage my money better and be more healthy. Do you have specific goals about being like more organized, more money managed, more healthy? Me first, me first, Katie, what are your goals? I just wanna survive and feel a little better. I'm also applying for Bible school in the fall. That is an amazing goal. Surviving, fantastic goal. Feeling a bit better, 
also fantastic goal. And you're applying for Bible school. Um, that is amazing. My parents met at Bible school. Maybe you'll meet the, the, <laughs> your future love of your life. <laughs> also, my name is Max. Okay. Okay. I will probably remember that your name is Max. So I will call you Max. The guy said they'd left the door open when the left. Oh, it probably was that. That's how do you leave your door open to your house? Oh, no, me for the first visits. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. You're Katie, you're going to visit before anybody. Don't worry. You're going to be the first, the first, the first people I meet off the internet is going to be Katie. He texted a few times back when I reached out Monday and then didn't respond when I texted yesterday morning and nothing. Well, maybe just give him some time. I would say give it like a few more days, Jess, and then just ask him on another date. And then if he doesn't respond to you, then just block his number. But it's worth reaching out at least one more time if you had a good time and you people are stupid sometimes no, not saying that's somebody that's great that you want to date but hey it's worth a shot if you really thought you had a connection just a long list oh yes okay hannah i want to know about your goals the back door that makes much more sense that makes much more sense i would say life goals for this year would be to read more books that's a really great goal i don't read any books i really should get on that i read a lot of stuff on the computer I have an obsession with buying and collecting them, but then they just sit there looking pretty on my shelf. I need to go to the library is what I would need to do if I want to read books. People call me Max, but your real name is Maximo. I like that. Maximo. With organizing, it's just keeping my room organized. Nice. As it gets really messy easily. And money. Oh, I spend money on food. Are you going to set a budget weekly to give yourself a food budget? <gasps> 2021 goals. Hannah's coming in hot. Meet Claire. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Meet online friends, video chat for too far apart. That's so cute. Have better mental health working out with a professional. That's amazing. Get better at talking about my emotions and anything sensitive out loud. Nice job, Hannah. I'm so happy that's on your list. Come the end of like you're 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 on such a good path, Hannah. I hope that you're really proud of yourself because you're on such a good path. Be less socially awkward and shy. There's nothing wrong with that, Hannah, but I do understand if you want to open up out of your bubble more. Learn how to talk to people, get fitter, be more comfortable with who I am. Get better at drawing and digital art. I love your list, Hannah. That is an amazing list of things. I think that Jess, you're, I, like I said, he's either a poopy person or he's being weird. And he's like, I like her and it was so good and I'm scared. So maybe just give him some time and reach out again. That's what I would try. Katie, you're going to crush your goals. Okay, back to my experiment. Thank you, Justine. I appreciate you. I will know that you are there and you are listening. And hello, Maya. Hello, friend. Um, Justine, don't worry. I got you on the mod things, too. Don't feel like you got a mod right now. Just enjoy your work. Oops, I shouted out Justine. <laughs> I was thinking I had Justine on the mind when I was typing that. I meant to shout out Maya. Oh, no. I broke my own thing. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Okay, please everybody give my lovely friend Maya a follow. She is so sweet, so funny. She does a lot of streams like me where she just chills and does art and chats and does music and she sings and plays guitar and she's fully, fully awesome. Please give her a check out. Um, definitely go check her out, give her a follow. She's great, she's a great friend. Thank you, Maya. What kind of music do I like to listen to, Maximo? I listen to a lot of electronic music, which being in Europe, maybe you have uh, understanding of. I don't know. But I listen to a lot of electronic music. And um, my favorite sub-genres are, are, like, I love anything heavy bass. Like crazy, insane. Yeah, bass. So like dubstep or rhythm or uh, whatever you want to call anything in there, that whole realm of crazy bass. But I also love house music, which is like, which is really fun. That stuff is really fun to bop to. And then I, of course, listen to like pop and top 40 and Halsey and Ariana Grande and all those people. Um, I love electronic music because my brain is like running it's like running at 100 miles an hour and the electronic music like i vibe with we're like on the same level does that make any sense it just like feels like it's i don't know my heartbeat is really fast hello friends and the electronic music just like vibes with my body <laughs> oh thank you for the emotes my i love your emotes and that butterfly is so beautiful christy blue morpho wow i wish everyone here happiness and good health for this year thank you my friend you are so sweet so 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 sweet 
I love some good emotes. Ooh, I really enjoy music from the 50s to 2015s, like any kind of music besides metal. Usually people will say, I love everything but country. But today you're saying, I love everything but metal. I like that. I like that. I have listened to heavy metal and screamo and stuff, and I don't mind it. It's not my favorite. There are a lot of songs that I really do enjoy, but um, it's EDM is like fuels my soul. It makes me so happy. It makes me feel so good. It makes me feel so excited. It makes me feel so nice. I just realized that my my lighting is not super good, so I'm gonna fix it real quick and we'll plug in the light. I I really like this new light because the controls are like right at the top instead of being. Let's see, this should. Huh? Oh, my PlayStation's not on. Come on, PlayStation, turn on. I'm using her as a power source. You actually do like some country songs. What is RDR2? I don't know what that is. Oh, is that too bright? What is RDR2? <gasps> Justine, positivity shower. Where's my wand? I don't need my wand. It's not a bless me. What's the, who's the positivity shower for? Justine, thank you, thank you, thank you, friend. I appreciate you. For everyone in chat, please. All righty. Okay, friends, good morning, chat. If you're new around here, I do something. I have a point channel. My name is Braylon. You can also call me Fluffy if you'd like. I don't mind either. Either one. Went to college in the South. It got me. You like some country, too. That makes sense. Um, okay, so if you're new here, I have a channel point redemption called Positivity Shower. When you redeem it, you can choose it for yourself, for someone else, for all of chat, for me, whoever you want, whoever you feel like needs some positive good vibes. So I'm going to do one right now for chat, which is all of you here who are here today, going to get a positivity shower. So, beautiful people, I just want you to remember that you are amazing, unique, lovely, strong human beings. And whatever life throws your way, you are capable of handling everything that comes your way even though it may not feel like it all the time just know that you are super strong super courageous you are doing so good we're living through an absolutely insane time right now so if you are here and you are alive and you are surviving you are doing great and i just want you to remember that you are loved and you are worthy and you are cared about and that if you're struggling right now it's going to come to an end soon I promise you everything that is awful comes to an end eventually. Hang in there. You've got this. You are strong, amazing, beautiful, lovely humans. Um, hello, friend. Hello. The baker. Is that you, Justine, on, on TikTok, too? Somebody said the baker just said hello, Fluffy. So I thought that was funny. Hi, friends. So, yes, just know you are all lovely, beautiful, amazing human beings who are strong. And I love you and I care about you. And just you're awesome. You guys are all great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the positivity shower, Justine. I appreciate you. Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, okay. I know what that is. I was just, when I see R's and D's and 2's together, my brain automatically goes R2D2. So I was thinking of Star Wars. <laughs> okay, I'm not on TikTok. I didn't think so. I didn't think so, but I wanted to make sure. Um, yeah, whenever I see yeah, R and D and 2 together, I'm like R2D2. But Red Dead Redemption 2, that makes sense. My fiance played that, so I know that game. And that is what made you like country music a little bit more. You're welcome, Maximo. We do positivity showers around here always. So everybody says that. It really does. My brain just goes to R2D2. Thank you, Justine. I'm so glad that, that you, um, I'm so glad that you like it. Thank you, I appreciate you. And I mean everybody, okay? So I'm not cooler unique than Maximo. <laughs> I'm just like everybody else. Speaking of TikTok, Berlin, your TikToks are still forever coming up on my free page. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Who's Justine? Thank you for the purple heart sticker. Look, it's so perfect on my screen right there. I literally love it. Um, um, I wonder, look at the sloth. <laughs> Do you see the sloth emote? That was so funny. Um, I wonder, uh, so uh, the same thing happens to me, Allie. I follow a bunch of people and they still come up on my For You page. And I'm like, why? Also, does anybody else do this? If those of you who have TikTok, do you never look at the videos of those you're following? Because I literally never go to my following. I follow a ton of people, but I'm always on their For You page. <gasps> the game is my favorite of all time. That's I love when you feel that way about a game. It's like the most fun way to feel about the game. And my all and got the 
and my got the I can't read of all time and I got my favorite protagonist of all time okay that makes sense I got it now I struggled a little bit for a second but we, we got it that is amazing I literally the feeling that you get um, I am live on twitch right now my at is the same it is fluffy monkey with three F's in the fluffy part thank you friends we're just chatting though so feel free to hang out here if you would like cuz I'm, I'm just chatting um, Having a game that you love that's like one of your favorite games is just like such a good feeling. It makes you feel so good uh, and just like to love a game so much. So I'm glad that you have that for Red, Red Dead Redemption too. Ali, yes, you don't look at your following either. You only look at your For You page. I definitely only look at my For You page, <laughs> although always. If I get bored of my For You page, then I'll go see what's going on in the following section. Why do we do this? Why do we even follow people and then not even look at them? Good morning, Zach. How are you doing today, friend? Welcome, welcome. I got to give a shout out for Zach, too. If you guys don't know, amazing friend. Definitely check him out. He streams all kinds of good Twitch stuff. He streams about stocks. He streams about a whole bunch of stuff that's really cool that if you're a Twitch streamer or you like Twitch, you should definitely check him out. Um, you should also go to his profile later and, and follow him on Twitter because Zach will give you all the insider info on Twitch on Twitter. So... My English isn't the greatest. So sometimes I put more or less words and then it don't make sense. It's okay. I figured it out in the end, Maximo. You are all good. You are all good. I will get it eventually. So it's okay if you make a typo. No, no stress. The following videos are usually ones uploaded weeks or months ago. So nothing new. Oh, that makes sense, Allie. Hello, Zach. I love your heart emote. Gotta watch my niece. So glad I caught you for a moment. You too, Jess. I have missed you. I hope that you are doing well. I, I, you're great and I love you and I hope you have a good day. How are you today? I'm doing good, Zach. We are chilling today. We are just chatting, chatteratting, which honestly, you guys, like, so anytime I stream at night, my chat is not very chatty. And I have two reasons why I think this. One, I think that people just don't want to chat as much at night. Like, people during the night are just not as chatty as during the day. And two, I think it's just so much more chill that that also leads to not as many people chatting. But anyways, these are so much fun in the morning because we're all like, hello, I want to chat with you. And I'm like, hello, I want to chat with you. So fun. So fun. Tonio. Tone. Tonio, oh, 12 hello friend, how are you doing today? For games that I like to play, I my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite game is The Sims. Hello, Cassidy, how are you doing this morning, friend? My all-time favorite, favorite game is The Sims. That's like my favorite game to play. Um, the best. Emily, hello, my sweet friend. Okay, wait, I screwed up here. Okay, we got to give Emily a shout out because Emily is an amazing streamer. She streams Saturdays and Sundays. Usually, sometimes it's a little different, but most times Saturdays and Sundays. And um, she's amazing. She's like the sweetest. I don't know. Being in her streams make me, makes me feel like I'm wrapped in a warm, cuddly blanket. That is how I feel when I watch Emily stream. So if you too would like to be wrapped in a warm, cuddly blanket go give emily and follow also oh my gosh dana hello tonio i'm doing so good how are you doing friend welcome to the fluffy friends um dana i love you i've missed you how are you friend i'm a night owl and i always enjoy talking to people at night oh well that's fun i definitely get way less chatty at night um sneaking a little time on here during work data i appreciate you sunny coconut hello friend how are you doing today i love your username so much sunny coconut that's like making me feel like i'm on the beach and i've got a coconut with some lime juice and i'm thriving and i'm thriving i'm doing so good today cassidy how are you doing my sweet friend what was that? Tony has followed. Thank you, friend. Oh my gosh, Zach, that emote. All my favorite people are here. What the fuck? They are. Tony, oh, you are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love The Sims too. Which games packs are your favorite? Um, Funky Muffin. Hey, Matt. Hello, hello, hello. Also, I know that you guys probably already know this because I literally talk about her all the time but if you're not following katie what are you doing please go follow her um i don't i feel like i shouldn't have to shout you out katie at this point but i'm gonna keep doing it for forever because i love you um thank you sunny coconut for the follow i do love your username so much it's literally just giving me such vibes like mental vibes right now i can just like ah i want to be on the sun on a beach with some sand and some salt and some coconut and mm, yummy delicious delicious um what sims games or packs are my favorite 
I am loving the Snowy Escape pack, honestly. The Snowy Escape is, is, ha ha ha, so good. I don't know why it's so good, but it is really, really good, and I love it a lot. Sometimes I wish I could rap. I know nothing about rapping, but I'm like, I could try, maybe. Maybe I could try. Do you guys see the TikTok rappers? I'm like, I think I could do that. Ooh, you came from TikTok. I love your videos. What stuff pack should I get next? We were just talking about stuff packs and expansion packs. And if you don't have, um, hello, little pup lover. If you do not have, what was the most recent stuff pack? Paranormal. A plus. Charlie's life. Hello, friend. Hello, hello, hello. Charlie, I know that your name is not actually Charlie. And could you please tell me what it is? Because I have forgotten and I don't want to call you Charlie the whole time when it when that's not your name. As Katie goes, Charlie, but isn't that not your name? Am I confused? Am I confused? This is a very wholesome stream today. I love Sophie. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I'm definitely just going to be like, Charlie! <laughs> so yes, thank you. The graphics are so gorgeous. I also really love the gameplay and Eco Lifestyle. Eco Lifestyle is my also like one of my favorite packs. Um, but... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> one of my other favorite packs is 100%. What's your age, little pup lover? I'm 28 years old. My other favorite um, stuff pack is Tiny Living tiny living i feel like that's how i'm gonna be too katie it's too hard not to not to read the username hello oh hannah i'm so sorry you're saying bye i didn't see your message i'm so sorry hannah i love you i hope you have a good walk thank you bye hannah um it does always just come out i get maybe that's what they wanted was for us all to call them charlie you know i don't know <laughs> I would guess like 22. Thank you. I do have a little bit of a baby face, which I don't mind. I'm also not wearing makeup today. When I wear makeup, I look a lot older, I think. When I put on makeup, I'm like, who is that? Who Who is she? I don't know her. I don't know who that is. That girl in the mirror? Not me. This is because I normally don't wear makeup. So like, this is my face. To me, this is what I look like all the time. This is my face. This is how I look. It's Hello, welcome, my face. But when I put on makeup, I'm like, ooh, who is she? I don't know her. That's not me, but she's real pretty. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm putting on a fake cover of mask, like that I'm like, I'm not, I don't know who this is, but I like her. Um, same, Emily, right? Isn't it so weird? You're like, that's me? That's my face? That's always how I am after I put on makeup. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. I've gotten so good at curling my hair. You guys, it takes me like three seconds and I love it. And I love it. Um, who am I? Grim, my sweet friend, Grim. Hello, hello. Good morning. If you guys are also not following the lovely Grim, please give them a follow. They're so, so, so amazing. Grim is lovely. We love her. Um, I ain't gonna lie, some reason girls look better to me without makeup. I think it just depends on what you're used to. Does that make sense? So like my family, I have a lot of girls in my family um, and we not, my mom like doesn't wear a ton of makeup. Well, she does, but not like glam, like some people. Like my mom wears a normal amount of makeup. Um, I wear lipstick on stream for the same reason, Emily. I'm like, it looks good on camera. It looks bad in person, but lipstick on camera looks good if you stream and you haven't tried wearing lipstick yet give it a shot because it looks so good oh thank you guys for the emojis hello friends i've got tiktok open too now marissa hi friend okay um um i think i think maximo it just depends on what you're more used to like i have definitely gotten used to a more natural face and i do look at natural faces and i'm like beautiful but i also can look at people with makeup and i'm like that is art that is a skill. That is a talent. That is something that is so freaking cool that you can paint your face. Like, think about that. People paint their faces. That's fucking sick. So, like, I appreciate both. I don't care what you do. I'm like, you do you. I, you do you. Of my curly hair skills, thank you, Dana. I'm really bad. I just, like, wrap it, wrap it wrap it and I've gotten really good at it um and it's been really easy the positiveness of this stream is so cute I love it thank you that's usually how our morning streams go we're usually very positive very uplifting our community is very nice very friendly we've got some amazing people in here for sure for sure 
Um, my mom is the only female in my family. Well, that makes sense. You're probably just used to what your mom does then. A lot of people wear makeup not for how they look to other people, but how they feel about themselves 100%. Makeup, I don't think, is about the other people at all. Makeup is solely about the person that's doing it. You know, I got a father and two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. A whole family of boys. I'm the opposite. I'm a whole family of girls. I've got to head to work, but it was nice hanging today. You're a ray of sunshine. Never changed. Thank you, Meg. That's my goal. That's why I'm here. I just feel like I really want to make people happy and give them a little bit of positivity and light in their lives. So thank you, Meg. I appreciate you. You're a ray of sunshine. You never change either. I honestly wear makeup like it's my alter ego. I only ever wear it for content stuff because I miss wearing it from COVID. That's, I feel like an alter ego when I put my makeup on too. That's a really good way to put it. But there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's fine if you, I think I was talking about this with Katie yesterday. We're at a point in our lives where people are being celebrated for being multi, sorry, hiccups, multifaceted. Like previously people would try and put people into like boxes, right? Which people still do. But now people are like, oh, you get to go into like 30 different boxes. Not just two. You're not just like this and this, but you're this and this and this and this and this. And you also do this and you like this. And everybody has such varying levels of interests and cool stuff. And I love it. And I think it's awesome. Have a great rest of your stream. I'm going to go eat lunch before I start streaming Miles Morales. Nice. That'll be so fun. I hope you enjoy. Enjoy your lunch. It's something interesting and cool. It really is. It really is. And I love now that anyone can wear makeup because I do think that anyone should be allowed to wear makeup if you want to wear makeup. And I think it's awesome that people like dudes can just wear full face makeup and people are like, whatever. They look good. I'm like, damn, when I was in high school, people were so mean to gay kids. I cannot. I cannot. The amount of growth we've made. I'm like, wow, this is awesome. I love it. I love it. You're the only girl. Oh, I'm so sorry. I always wish I had brothers, but I don't. I'm a girl family. You wear makeup like twice a year. I'm just too lazy and not really good at it. That's me too. So I, I wear makeup, but I don't ever do like a fancy full face. Like, you know, like people online. I can't do that. I can't do my eyeshadow. I can't do my eyeliner. I can just do like a normal girl makeup. A regular. I kind of wish I had a younger sister. I, I now kind of sort of do have a younger sister because my fiance has a little sister and she's... 14 and she's so cute and I love her we have all the same interests she's my little sister now I've always wanted a younger sister too so it's been fun it's always just been me and my mom and now my granny Dana that is the sweetest thing do you guys just have the cutest little trio relationship I was scared people would be weirded out by the law school streaming combo but they're so supportive that's what I mean like everybody can do people are like being celebrated for having multiple interests all girls all the time. It sounds so nice, Dana. It's like where I work. It's all women and it's so nice. It's so fun how it's the morning for you. It's 5.40 p.m. in France. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I love like when I'm watching somebody and it's like in the middle of the night for them and I'm like, oh, whoa, it's like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock for me. Um, you just low key stole your fiance's sister. 100%. I'm like, hello, you're my sister now. Thank you. She loves me though. We've been dating. I've known her since she was two. And she's 15 now. Isn't that crazy? The first time I met her, I can still remember pulling up to their house and his mom was holding her and she was baby. Like a, a small baby. So that's pretty crazy. I, I grew up with her because um, I was only 15 back then. All girls all the time. It's funny how, oh, I already read that. I feel like people appreciate anyone who, one who has multifacets or multiple interests. I think that is like a growing thing now that people are like, whatever you want to do, you do you. And we're going to celebrate you for it. And it's beautiful. Um, it's kind of toxic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Our star signs are always at each other's throats. And it's sometimes like walking on eggshells. Maybe you need to have like weekly check-ins, like weekly meetings and be like, all right, this is what I'm upset about this week. And your mom can be like, well, this is what I'm upset about this week. And your grandma can be like, well, I hate both of you. And you can air it all out. <laughs> my sister met her husband when my brother was two. That's so cute. Yeah, we've been dating for forever. We've been dating for since 2009 was when we started dating February of 2009 too so very soon my brother-in-law and I are like that he's known me since I'm like seven or eight and now I'm almost 23 that's so cute I literally love that does he feel like a brother to you you know what's funny is that my so my fiance's older sister and my fiance both of us started dating our partners in high school so like my fiance's sister and her husband and me and my fiance have all known each other since like they were like 17 or 16 and we were like 15 
And so like the four of us, it's really funny because we've all known each other since we were like so little. And now like they have a kid and she's pregnant with another kid. And I'm like, Kyle, you're dad. And it's just life is funny. Life is so funny. Thank you so much, Maximo. Eat some dinner, work out, enjoy yourself. No, Maximo, you are so fine. I appreciate anyone who comes in even just to say hello. Any amount of time spent in my stream is I'm so appreciative for you for doing so. So thank you, Maximo. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. My granny would hate that. <laughs> I would like to be more like if something's wrong, then address it. But my granny is more passive aggressive. Is there a way that you can just like be direct with her, Dana, and not care about her passive aggressiveness? Can you just be like, Grandma, I'm not going to pay attention to this? Like, can you like rise above and be like sorry grandma i'm not i'm not going to be receptive to your passive aggressiveness i refuse to be talked to that way <laughs> i don't know if that works with grandmas <laughs> but you know it might if she's still got all her wits about her you might be able to be like grandma i'm not listening to you when you say it like that she just ignores me and doesn't answer me i would try to be direct wow what a Dana, I'm sorry I'm going to talk smack about your grandma for just one second what a lovely healed adult human being not you're Dana, at least you have somebody that you know now. You do not want to be like that when you are older because stonewalling is a terrible thing to do to people if you don't want to talk to them. Um, great example of what not to do. <laughs> don't be Dana's grandma. <laughs> low key yes but also in a weird way a fatherly figure yes i get that because like i feel like too like not that i'm saying i'm her mom or anything but i've like helped her with a lot of stuff and like you know she's very young and so i totally get that that's such a nice relationship i'm so sorry dana i really am so terribly sorry living do you know what sucks is that when you get older thank you so much friend you like my headset i appreciate you when you get older and you start to like heal yourself and like get healed and do work and shadow work and ego work and whatever you're working on your personal growth and development and um and you i read your comment charlie and i got distracted so i'm going to answer your comment now and then i'll jump back over there my best friend and i have known each other for over 10 years and now i am married and have a baby and she's engaged that is the cutest thing i love it i love it i love it i love it grim plushy we have listen up grim we have pikachu vaporeon Pink Stitch, aka Angel, Grogu, Baby Yoda, Eevee, a Squishmallow Stitch, Piplup, which is a cute little Pokemon um, penguin, Yoshi, a Sleeping Stitch, a Gudetama. What would you like, friend? Um, what I was going to say is it sucks when you start to heal yourself and then you start to examine the adults in your life and you realize that most adults are not very healed themselves. Most adults have poor emotional regulation. Most adults are bad at communicating about things. Most adults are not people that you want to look up to when it comes to their relationships and how they handle stuff. And once you start realizing that and you're like, people suck. Like I'm out here trying to be good and trying to be like a really nice and like talk about my emotions and talk about my feelings and like do all the things right. And then you go to adults and you're like, Oh, all the adults suck at this. Like, what are y'all doing? How can you be, how can you be, how can you be like, how can you be like so old and still just be like so ignorant? That's how I look at it. It's like, you're so in your ego that you've like lost yourself and just don't, don't do that. Friends, communicate with people, talk about your emotions communicate honestly with humans tell people when you mess up tell people how you feel tell people when you're scared when you're sad when you're upset tell people everything um like talk about your emotions be an emotionally sound human being it is so important your everything in your life will be better it's just it's i'm saying this like it's easy it's not easy she gave me a bad relationship with food see i'm sorry dana oh i'm so sorry dana i hope one day you can get out of that house and away from your grandma because she sounds like a not so nice person realizing that just about changed my life it's so glorified when you're younger and then you look back later like what the fuck yes also realizing at some point that like adults don't know shit adults like nobody has it together nobody like knows what they're doing that whole stigma was made up by people who wanted other people to think that they knew what they were doing all of our systems were made up by people who were like, shit, I need to look like I know what I'm doing. No one knows what they're doing. It's fine. 
nobody knows and that realization when you're like 17 or so i don't remember how old i was and i was like oh no one knows shit i was like oh it almost was like a weight off of my shoulders like i don't have to have everything figured out even as an adult i don't have to have it figured out the really only thing you have to focus on is taking care of yourself and being kind to others being kind and being true to yourself that's like all life is be kind to yourself take care of yourself be kind to others look out for others there's life that's life for you um talk about your emotions talk about your feelings <laughs> Oh, you're going to bring your baby to bed. So cute. The moment I realized that the people I looked up to and relied on to help me keep everything together did not have everything together themselves was a really scary realization. But it's also a little comforting because we're all just trying our best. I talk about this often and it's a funny thing. Mahela, sorry, the bookworm. Mahela, the bookworm. Thank you. Thank you, friend. I talk about this often. It's, um, it's, we have to parent ourselves as adults and some people and what i mean by that is make yourself do the stuff you don't want to do that's not indulgent that's not fun you have to brush your teeth you have to cook you have to clean you have to work out you need to get outside you have to go to work you have to do all these things you have to take care of your yard you got to take care of your house you got to take care of your pets you have to take care of your mental health you have to make sure you brush your teeth you're brushing your hair you're sleeping you're drinking water you're eating healthy there's so many things you got to do right and you would literally have to be your own parent you have to be your own parent as an adult you have to say we're going to do the things that we don't want to do now because we need to do them and they're the things that need to be done. And some people are really good at that and some people are not as good at that and it just takes time and practice and you'll get better as you go. But it definitely is a very funny thing I think about all the time is that like, you got to be your own parent. And it's not easy and it doesn't come naturally. But I do think about this, by parenting yourself as a young adult and getting really good at it, by the time you do have kids, I feel like you will be a better parent. You'll be more understanding of like how things work, bodies, emotions, minds, like, you know, I don't know. If you're really good at parenting yourself, I have a feeling you'd be really good at parenting children too. I'm so glad you were in my recommendations. I really needed to hear that this morning. I'm so glad too, Mahela. I hope that's your correct name. I'm saying that right. Let me know if there's something you'd rather me call you instead of Mahela. Um, I'm really glad I was in your recommendations too. I was not feeling like streaming this morning, honestly, you guys. And I'm really glad that I did because it's been really great. And it, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, my brain and my body is just like, we don't want to stream. We don't want to do it. And I have to really like push past that. And I don't know why, because every time I do it, I have a great time. So I'm like, why does my brain tell me like, you don't want to stream? You don't want to stream. And then I stream and brain's like, happy. We like this. It's so dumb. I Sometimes brains are hard. They're so complex. They're like computers. Wires get crossed and everything gets all messed up and stuff happens. And you're like, I don't like it. Um, oh, thank you, Lavissa. I got to go in a couple minutes because I have a seminar to attend. But it's been really nice hanging out. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, friend. I appreciate you. I hope to see you again soon. Also, hello, Tina. Good afternoon. Good morning, Tina. How are you doing? Hello, Grim is here also. How are you, friends? totally random but Yoshi is so cute isn't he the cutest I love Yoshi oh thank you Grim thank you thank you thank you it's like Michaela but with an H Mahela I love it it's a beautiful name friend that's a really really pretty name my name is Braylon it's spelled like this oops so people get it confused a lot too and I have to always spell it and nobody can ever say it so I feel you I feel you on that I'm I'm the same way um, so I'm always more sensitive to people's names I feel like because I have a weird name that people mess up so I always don't want to mess up other people's names also I get some people who just call me like Brianna or Brie and I'm like no that's not my name nope there's no Brie in my name I know it might look like it but there's not it is Braylon. <laughs> okay, friends, I am, let's see, does anybody have a raid recommendation for today, sweet friends? If nobody does have a raid, thank you. I am feeling good. It's stupid little silly brain that's like, we don't want to stream today. And then you do it and you're like, that was so fun. And I'm like, brain, you're dumb. I, monkey brain is dumb. Monkey brain never knows what's going on. Let's just put it that way. Who is it on? Oh, it's, it's going to my channel. Okay. Let's see. I don't have a lot of good raid friends at the moment. So if somebody has a good raid wreck, please let me know. Um, 
and we'll go there in a few minutes. My old friend would just tell people her name is Kate, but it's Aslan. Too hard. Oh no. So when I go to Starbucks or something, I, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have a really good friend with the user Tiny Tina who is very short and the fact that there is a too tall Tina in chat is cracking me up. You need to introduce them because Tina is really, really tall. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate you so much. Um, Tina is really tall. She's really, really tall. So that's hysterical that you have a friend named Tiny Tina. Um, yeah, when I go to Starbucks, I always say my name is Jane or something like that. Shalua is really chill too and she is playing Fallout. Okay, I love rating new people, so we'll do that um, in a few minutes here. This was a wonderful stream and I definitely needed this. Thank you. I didn't realize how much I needed it either. Um, I really needed it today. Mahela, thank you for the follow, friend. I was saying earlier, I don't know if you were in here, but I was saying it's like one of my favorite things when somebody chats for a while and then follows me after because I feel like I passed the test. Like, you came in, you chatted with me, I passed the test, and then you followed. And it's my favorite thing. Rather than, like, someone who comes in and just follows right away, like, that's fine, too. But how do you know if you like me? And what if you're going to unfollow me later? I love it when people come in and they chat for a while, and then they follow. I'm like, I did it! I won! I am the best! So, thank you, Mahela. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to the Fluffy Friends. I just squished you, she said. Ha! <laughs> um, I stream. I will be streaming this exact same time again on Friday, but we're going to be playing Jackbox games. And if you would like, any new friends from today would like to be involved in our community games. There's a little fuzz. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. I'm so ADHD. Um... There is a Discord. Please DM me. I will add you to the Discord. You can reach out to me on um, any of my socials um, or whisper me on here if you want a Discord invite because um, it's going to be really fun. We're going to play Jackbox games. You don't need the game to play and you just need a phone or a device or something. You definitely have got to combine your powers. Oh my gosh. Um, so yes, we're going to be playing Jackbox games. It's going to be fun. I hope you can join us on Friday, same time. Um, should be a good time. I appreciate all of you. I got to go. Did I follow? Did I copy the username still? Shalua. Sh -sh Shalua. Roll call. My name is Braylon. Yeah, and that's my name. My name is Braylon. Because that's my name. Uh-uh. Okay, let me see, friend. I will whisper you. I'll pull up the whisper right now. Let's see, can I do that? Whisper. Got it. Okay, hi. Okay, I'm gonna send you that later. I just said hi so I don't forget. Appreciate you all, friends. We are going to raid Tina's lovely friend, Shalua. Let's see, we do have a raid command here. If you wouldn't mind copying and posting this in the raid chat, did that work? There we go. It's a fluffy monkey raid. We're monkeys, we're fluffy. We're raining. I also like to do a little one that has a little emo at the end, just in case you are a sub and you want to copy that one. It's got monkeys. Um, anyways, I appreciate all of you so, 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 so much. Um, what a lovely stream today. I had such a good time. Thank you, friends. This was really, 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 really enjoyable. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me pull up Shalua's stream first here so I don't miss everything with the ads. Um... I appreciate all of you. I'll see you again Friday. I'll also be live again tomorrow in the evening. But Friday morning, we'll be here. Thank you, friends. I love you so much. Please have a good day. Please enjoy. Um, and I will see you soon. Talk to you soon. Have a good day.